Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm along with Stills and Blake. I'm Josiah. CBS Sports compiled a list of 100 of the 100 best NFL players in 2023. And no surprise who came out on top, Patrick Mahomes, is the clear top choice. Fresh off his second Super Bowl title and two regular season MVPs in the past five seasons at just 27 years old, Mahomes is a current is at current pace to be in the conversation of the greatest NFL quarterbacks of all time. Quarterbacks went one, two, three in CBS. Player ranking, player rankings. The Bills quarter, the Bills Josh Allen came in second, and Joe Burrow of the Bengals was number three. Last year, number one player Rams defense ta- defensive tackle Aaron Donald slipped to the ninth spot. One of the big question marks entering the upcoming NBA season centers around John Moran. The Memphis Grizzlies all-star guard will start the season serving a minimum 25-game suspension for his off-the-court behavior. The suspension could exceed 25 games if he does not meet certain conditions. Morant will be ineligible for any team activities during his suspension. The Grizzlies have responded well to Morant's absences in the past. Memphis went 11 and 10 without um, without Morant last season, but in the 2021 through 2022 season, they went 20 and 5 when Morant was not available to play. The college football season is approaching fast, with seven games scheduled for for week zero on August 26, including two major programs, Notre Dame and USC, opening their seasons early. The Fighting Irish face Navy in the, in Dublin, Ireland, for the first time since 2012. And Southern Cal hosts San Jose State. Both USC and Notre Dame are expected to be in the college football playoff chase this upcoming season, especially after quarterback Sam Hartman has transferred to Notre Dame and USC has their defending Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams returning. Most college football teams begin their begin their season begin their season the first week of September for the the traditional Week One schedule. Major League Baseball is enjoying an attendance re-urgence with internal projections pointing to a full season attendance increase of 6 to 8%. This, that is encouraging news for the MLB commissioner. Rob Manford, who says 22 of 30 MLB clubs are, are currently up in attendance a year ago, Major League Baseball experienced its lowest attendance figures since 1997. Manfred points out that there have been strong fan reception to pitch clock, large basses, and a ban on extreme defensive shifts. Since adding the pitch clock in April, the average MLB game is 26 minutes shorter than 2022. MLB games have not been this short in 40 years. The United States women's soccer team goes for a three-peat at this summer's Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. The U.S. women captured the title in 2019 and 2015. England, the European champion, is also one of the top contenders. This year's field is the largest ever with 32 teams competing, compared to 24 in previous tournaments. More than 1 billion people around the world will be watching the competition. When the United States beat the Netherlands in 2019 finals, an average of 82.2 million viewers watched worldwide. That's it for today. It was a busy day in sports. For my co for my co anchors, Stills and Blake. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.